So in this video, what I want to have a look at is conditional access. So conditional access is a way to control uh, where and how users log into the Microsoft 365 uh, environment. Now, we do typically use conditional access via the Azure portal. So you'll need to access the Azure portal as a uh, global administrator so that you can go in and set up these permissions. And then what you need to do when you are here is you basically need to go into Azure and do a search for Azure AD conditional access. And what you will see is you will come uh, to this environment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a very simple policy to uh, block a user by a country. So that will allow us to log in from one country, but not log in from another. But before we do that, let's just have a quick overview on what conditional access can actually achieve. So here we are with a good overview of what conditional access basically can do for you. So you'll see on the left hand side here, we have all the different conditions of logging in. So that where it's coming from, that is the device potentially, that is the location. That's what we're going to focus on here. Uh, and also the browser and the client apps that you are using. Now you take all of these input conditions and we can run them through a set of policies. We can use machine learning. Uh, to then evaluate that. Once we've evaluated that based on those policies uh, and those rules we've put in place, we can then choose to uh, restrict access, we can require MFA, we can force a password reset, and we can, for example, block uh, different sorts of authentication if we want. And we can do that to the cloud, to third-party SaaS-based apps, as well as to our on-prem environment. So conditional access, think of it as a doorway in which uh, is the uh, login criteria is evaluated across things like location, devices, uh, uses all of that. We then run that through a set of policies which define and then we can determine uh, how and if we provide access to the resources uh, in the Microsoft Cloud as well as on-prem. So with that, let's switch back and see how we can actually configure this for uh, geo uh, conditions. So we're back here in our Azure portal. We're looking at our conditional access policies and we're going in a minute to go and create a new policy. But before we do that, let's just verify what our user has access to. So if we go to another browser actually on um, this machine and we go in and we have a look and see what the IP address of this machine, you'll see that this machine here is actually uh, coming out of the US. So it's coming out of Redmond in Washington state. So with that said, let's log in to uh, the of Microsoft 365 portal as um, our user meeting B, so just our normal everyday user of the tenant. And remember that in this case, this login here is coming out of the US and we don't have any conditional access policies enabled. And as expected, uh, the user is happily able to log in, get access to all their details. You'll see that uh, Megan is logged in here. Now remember again that in this case, in this browser here, we're logged in uh, from Oops, from the US. So what we're gonna do is let's swap to another machine which is out of another location. So you'll see here that I have another machine and let's have a look at its IP address as a comparison. So in this case, you'll see that this machine here is coming out of Sydney, Australia, right? So completely different locations. So let's go again into uh, the uh, portal here and we'll log in uh, again as that same user. All right, so we should be able to, there are no policies in place and uh, we want to allow the user at this stage to be able to log in from each location. So again, we have a success here, which is expected. We now have a successful login uh, from two locations, one in Sydney and also one in the US. Now, if we basically go back to our location here, let's go back to uh, our administration. Now we want to configure a conditional access policy to restrict the user from logging in in the US. So what we want to do is restrict Megan from logging in in the US. And in fact, we want to allow her to only log in uh, from an Australian location. Now, the easiest way to do this, firstly, we need to go into our conditional access policies and select the option for named locations. So what we want to do here is create a new location. And in this case, we are going to create a, a location named as Australia. And you'll see that we get the option here to define it by country. Now we can obviously enter multiple countries in here. 
but in this case I'm just going to select Australia. So we're going to basically create a named location that is Australia and that is country based. So that is a setting that will map the majority of IP addresses that come from Australia uh, to this entity and we'll then use that to create our rules. Now once we've done a name location, now we can go in and create a policy. So let's go in and create a policy here. Now we're going to firstly uh, give this policy a name. So let's call this Australia only as our policy. And we'll go in and we'll select the users. Now in this case, I only want to target just Megan. All right, not affect any other users. So let's go in and select the user and just select the one user that this will apply to. Okay, so let's select that user. All right, so we've done that. So this policy will apply just to that one user. Now, the next option here is what cloud apps do we want this rule to apply to? So we want to apply this to uh, every cloud app that will access our environment. Now, you'll see that we can go to a selection here. So we can go in and actually target uh, individual cloud apps if you want, provided we have those set up. In this case, we want to block. We want to control access to all our cloud apps. So we'll select that and go done. Now, the next option here is the conditions. Now, we can have multiple conditions as we showed you previously, location, app, uh, all sorts and user, all sorts of stuff here. So we can also include sign-in risk, which we're not going to do. We're not going to worry about device platform, so we can restrict users on the devices that are coming into our environment. And this is the one we want here. We want locations. Now, what we want to do is we want to configure this, obviously. Now, the way to think about this here is like a firewall. We want to basically block every location except for the ones in Australia. So again, think about that, and that'll make more sense when we get to the next option. So what I want to do is I want to include every single location, which is everything in the world except, again, a selected location. Now, if we go into our selected locations, you'll see that the range that we defined here, the location we defined called Australia, is there, and we can now select that. So this is why we need to define that. Before we create our policy rules, you'll also see that we can have a range of additional uh, locations there if we want. So we're going to select Australia. So again, the idea here is that remember that we're selecting every location and we're excluding, uh, in this case, Australia. And the reason that we're going to do that is that when we come down to access control, we are basically going to set this to block access, right? So again, think of this like a firewall. What I want to do is I want to block every location in the world except for uh, something like Australia. So in that case, my rule like a firewall is going to uh, be block access, okay? So I'm happy with that as an option. All right, so everything looks good down here. I will go down to the bottom here and select the option to enable the policy. I will then go and create that policy. Now we see that the policy appears here. We can go in and select it again and edit it further if we want to do that. Now what we can do is we can also go in here and do a what if analysis. So we can go in and say, okay, what's gonna happen when, for example, uh, Megan, all right, so let's go in and select and run this rule here. And let's go back to uh, this location of the location here. All right, so this is, remember, a US-based uh, IP address. So let us take that and let us put that into our what if analysis. And we also want to select the option to see that that is in the US, right? So we put our uh, details in there. You'll see that you can also select the platform and all the other options. And let's go to the what if option down the bottom here. And that will evaluate that. And you'll see down here that according to our what if analysis, that the policy Australia only, which is what we just created, will actually block access for this user, which is exactly uh, what we expect to happen. Now, if we go in here and let's change this maybe to our normal admin. So remember that we didn't uh, basically include the admin in this policy, right? So let's look at what happens to the admin with the same IP address, same location. You'll see that no policies apply. So we have assessed our rule using the what if tool here, and it would seem that everything uh, is basically uh, good to go here. All right, so how do we verify that? So let's go to our user who was already logged in and let's for example say, okay, I want to go to my OneDrive. Okay, so this policy conditional access has been uh, applied. We are on a machine that is a US based a IP address and you'll see that immediately 
our policy has now kicked in and it is preventing the user from logging in to their resources because the IP address is in the US and we're only currently allowing via policy for Australia. So what I can do here is let me just uh, close this browser session down and let me launch a, another browser session here just to verify for you that uh, it will not even uh, log in from this point. So again, let me get the user's credentials here. All right, so let's copy this in here. All right, and put the password in as well. So remember that this is a US-based IP address. Okay, and you'll see that the user cannot log in and the reason for that, um, again, is the fact that they are trying to log in uh, from a US-based based IP address. Now, in comparison, let's jump across to our machine that here is in Australia. So this, again, is an Australian IP and let's go into our OneDrive. Let's make sure that the user can continue to operate, uh, work, do what they need to. So this should allow me to get to my OneDrive for business. That's all good. And let's go, for example, into SharePoint and have a look at SharePoint uh, as an option as well. So you'll see that that is all working as expected. And again, that is because we are coming from a IP that is in Australia. And basically our policy does allow that. Okay, so what I'll do here is I will close uh, this session. Well, actually, let's be 100% here. Let's go and sign out from uh, Megan completely. And remember, we're signing out uh, from the Australian location here. So we will then relaunch the browser and log back in as uh, Megan to make sure that we do have uh, complete, uh, complete access, right? So let's close that browser session down here. Let's run our in private uh, session again and we will go back to portal.office.com and we will log in again as Megan. We will put the password in. Okay, so we put the password in here and we'll see that all things being equal, yes, that we do have access. Now, the reason for that again is that this machine is um, in basically in uh, Australia, which is which conforms basically uh, to our policy, our conditional access policy, which means that when the user does log in, the IP address is being evaluated. Is it from uh, Australia? Yes, then allow it in. If it is from anywhere else, then basically that will be blocked per our policy. So if we jump back to our original machine, let's jump back to our admin area. And this is the policy that we created and is kicked in. Now let's go in and actually have a look in our Azure AD as to what the logging results are. So I've logged into Azure AD, I've gone in here and I'm going to select users. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we'll do a search for, whoop, we'll do a search for uh, Megan. All right, and we will drill into that user. All right, now down here you'll find the activity which is sign-ins. All right, so you'll see that these are the successes and uh, for example, these are the failures. So let's add a filter here and let's change the status here. Add that status to our uh, environment. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to look for failures. All right, so that will give us uh, a, a nice um, summary view here. So let's have a look at this one. You'll see this is a failure. Let's select on that and you'll see that this is a failure to log in. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that the failure reason is access has been blocked due to a conditional access policy. So our access, conditional access policy has kicked in and has blocked access uh, as desired. So let's go in and have a look here at conditional access. And this is the rule that kicked in that prevented that. So this policy name basically blocked access and that is the reason for our failure. And the reason that we have that is because the policy, if we go in here and uh, have a look at it, what we've done is we have uh, basically targeted the user. We have then uh, targeted all the cloud apps and the conditions we've set up are based on location. And we have set up a location rule for every single location except our name location being Australia. So all Australian IP addresses there. And then the important thing here is we've changed the access option from grant to block. So this means that when this policy kicks in, the condition will be it is going to block all locations except 
the ones that we have put in here, which will be Australia. And that is exactly what we're seeing when we actually go and try and log in as that user. Now, remember that when you set up a conditional access policy, be very careful that you don't lock yourself out or do something untoward. And the way that you can evaluate this is to go into the what if tool and put in the details in your policy to basically see uh, what happens. And then finally, you can go into the Azure AD logs and you can drill in uh, to the information uh, that is available to you here and see successes and failures to make sure that your policy uh, is working exactly as expected. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an overview, a bit of an idea of what conditional access is, how to set it up, especially around location-based. My advice to you around best practice is a standard um, conditional access policy you should set up for all your users when you implement Microsoft 365 should be a generic rule like I've shown you to block access for all users uh, outside their own country. So that means they can't by default log in outside their own country by default. That again typically prevents phishing attacks and malware if their credentials uh, do get compromised. But remember that you may need to evaluate that and add additional policies and exemptions down the road with your users. But a good starting point is basically say, okay, well, if my users are based in Australia, then I really don't want my users logging in from anywhere but Australia. And that means if their account is compromised, if someone does manage to get their login and password, they'll find it much more difficult to get access to that user account. So again, thank you very much for watching this video.